In this video, I'm going to talk about how to utilize video inside of Pro Tools. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a session based on template that I created for post-production. You may or may not have this, but this is a good starting place. This particular template has four mono dialogue tracks, four stereo sound effects tracks, and two music tracks ready to go. And bus is associated with each of those three stems. I'm going to check the box that says create from template because I can do that. If not, just create a new session or open up a template of your own. So I'm going to create from template. And for post-production, I'm going to make sure that it's a broadcast wave BWF file format, 24 bit, 48 kilohertz, which is the streaming standard. IO settings, I'm going to make these be stereo mix, which is the default for Pro Tools. Then I'm going to check the box that says interleaved. This allows for interleaved files to be uh, imported and not split into two multiple mono files. I like to prompt for location because that it requires me to think about where I'm putting my session. Then I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. I, of course, don't want to call it template. I want to call it something else. And I am going to put the current date on it as well. So this particular session is for television. I can see that there's two markers in here and my FFOA, which is my first frame of action, is set up to one hour if I click on this marker. If I click on this other marker, this is called my two pop. So this is a little beep that happens in the countdown. There is a two pop. There is actually the beep itself in this particular session. The first thing that I have to do in this session is to import the video. So I have something to work with. But before I do, I want to go to Setup and Playback Engine and make sure that Video Engine is enabled. Click OK. And it will give you this waiting for the Video Engine to launch. Don't worry about this. It takes a second. Sometimes it takes a while. Then the next thing that I'm going to do in this particular case, because I know the video starts right at the first frame of action, is I'm going to recall the marker. So I can either recall the marker by clicking on the marker itself in the marker ruler, or I can go to window, memory locations, and then I could just click on the marker in the memory locations. So I'm gonna click on the FFOA marker. Then I'm going to go to file, and I'm going to go to import video. And then I'm gonna to go to the files that I downloaded from my client or my teacher. And then the one that I'm looking for in this case is the one that has the .mxf file format. So click on that, click open. It's gonna give you this pop-up window and yours might look a little bit different than mine because mine is Pro Tools HD, but we're gonna put it on a new video track because no video track exists. Then I want to put it at the selection, which basically just means where my cursor is. So my cursor is in the proper location then I click OK, and then there it is. That's all I need to do to import video into my session. You can also import it with the audio. This one doesn't have any audio. There's also a key command for this. On a Mac, it is Option, Shift, Command, I. And on a PC, that would translate to Alt, Shift, Control, I. And that will import your video. And that is all you have to do to import your video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.